Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Ben. So today when it comes to tvOS, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have a brand new software update and by going into the system right there and software update, you can see under update, we have a new update which is tvOS 18.1 and it's developer beta 4 with the build number 22J5567A and I'm updating from the previous beta which is tvOS 18.1 beta 3 with the build number 22j 5557d so now if i go to where it says download and install right there it's quickly gonna do that just to keep you in the loop this is a list of other operating systems that apple released today on october 7 vision os 2.1 beta 4 watch os 11.1 beta 4 tv os 18.1 beta 4 this is the video for that of course mac os 15.1 beta 6 i did a video on that and we have iOS and iPadOS 18.1 beta 6. So let me just quickly finish updating my Apple TV and then we're going to see what has changed, if anything. My device is now up to date and if we go into the system settings right there, go to where it says system and now if we go to software update and then check for an update, you can see our device is up to date. We have a new pop-up screen that's going to tell us what's new and you can see as well our build number that has been updated to the latest tvOS 18.1 beta now there are actually no new features and changes that this update introduces no snoopy no hdmi no um apple original tv shows and one of the things that i noticed that changed before on the previous update when i would watch netflix right here on my apple tv there was a glitch where from time to time i would get a black screen i reset my video settings but still i would get a black screen but i watched like a couple of minutes of netflix about two minutes by before the previous update it would show itself within the first minute but i watched about two minutes and that bug seems to have been resolved and that's just about it that's changed with this update just to show you what apple said about this you can see on the release notes for tvos 18.1 beta 4 they mentioned an issue with the screen savers which was existing from the previous notes there's a resolved issue with store kit with pertaining to xcode and there's a known issue with xcode and this is pretty much the same release notes as the previous tvos releases that we saw so it seems to be a copy on paste of tvOS 18.1 beta 3 so nothing much changed in that aspect but I wanted to bring your attention to when we could see this update officially released not that many people are looking forward to it so it's not an interesting update but according to Mark German Apple is looking forward to releasing iOS 18.1 iPad OS 18.1 among other updates including tvOS 18.1 on October 28th so that would mean maybe on the 14th we'll get tvOS 18.1 beta 5 and then we might get an RC version right here on the 21st and then officially this update could be released on the 28th not that a lot of people are looking forward to it but this is just something that i thought i should mention but other than that you know this is how the update is on my apple tv other than the netflix bug that i was experiencing it seems to be pretty much okay my applications and softwares are opening up as they are supposed to and for an update that doesn't have much to offer usually it tends to be more of a bug fix and a stability update and that's what this tvOS 18.1 seems to be um i'm curious to see which version of tvOS is going to have the new snoopy screensaver and at the same time you can see some of these features that they mentioned such as the insight i had like one person reached out to me that the insight is not working properly and at the same time the automatic subtitles seem to pop up has haphazardly but for me 
since I updated to the initial tvOS update, these have been working okay for me. And if I click continue, brings me back to this page. So that's just all that this update has to offer, nothing much. And if something definitely changes, then I'll let you know. And that's about it for me. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And if you discover something that I haven't been able to cover, please let us know in the comment section below. Then I might be able to do it in the next update. So. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.